Um, and if you have an iPad, then you know how wonderful these devices could be. But if you just got it and you opened the box, you may feel like you're missing something. And that is the instruction book. Apple does not include instruction books. They feel that these devices are the easiest in the world to use. And for the most part, that's true. They're pretty self-explanatory, but some of us, we need instructions. So I met a guy, his name's iPad Pete. I call him the iPad Yoda, because every time I have a question about my iPad, and I've been using one since 2010, I log into his membership site, and my answers are right there. So what I want to do today is take you guys behind the scenes. I want to pull back the curtains a little bit and show you what you get when you get access to iPad Video Lessons membership site. Come on, let's go check it out. All right, so here we are. We're inside iPad Video Lessons uh, membership site, and you can see that I'm logged in as me right there. And the first thing you come across when you log in are the latest updates. These are the newest things he's added to the membership site. Now, with iOS 6, he uploaded so, uh, several videos, starting with Siri, how to use Siri on your iPad, Facebook, tips and tricks, clock app, the iOS 6 maps, the new mail with your VIP feature, and uh, how to make FaceTime calls on your iPad using the camera app. I want to show you a couple of videos. The first one I'm going to show you is the Siri uh, video, how to use Siri. So here we go. Uh, the video quality is fantastic. You can see that it's it's uh, live on screen. How to use your uh, iPad? He's uh, right now. He's using Siri, and he's going to talk you through how to use in Siri, and uh, all the things that she can do. Or uh, going back to the home screen, the next thing we come across is iOS 5 updates. Now iOS 5 updates are here because if you're using an older iPad, it is not compatible with iOS 6. First generation iPad cannot go to iOS 6, and for that or because of that, uh, he has left all of these iOS 5 videos up here. If you're using an older iPad, this section is for you. You have uh, iCloud, wireless features, notification center that was new with iOS 5, uh, the reminder app, which is really nice, and uh, the newsstand. If you, if you subscribe to digital magazines, uh, I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic app. It's a really neat way to uh, read your magazines. You can watch videos inside your magazine. That's pretty cool. Uh, next, we get into Beginner's Boot Camp. In this section, if you just got your iPad and you're opening it up out of the box, this section's for you. You can uh, go from setting up your new iPad, how to communicate with it, um, how to navigate your home screen, how to put it to sleep. There's all kinds of videos here from actually opening it up in the box, what's inside, and how to set it up. This video here, I'll load it here really quick. You can see that he's opening the iPad. So he takes you literally by the hand, step by step, and shows you exactly what's in the box and what to do with it. And the videos are high quality. Most of the videos are under five minutes. And the reason for that is he doesn't want you to spend all day on one topic or all day on a group of topics. You come here with a question, you click on the video, you watch it for two to five minutes, and your question is answered. That's it. Next is web tips and tricks. Here you can go from connecting Wi-Fi, how to use your cellular data plan if you have one, bookmarks, how to make bookmark folders, uh, what to do if the videos don't play uh, on your iPad, and text and image links. Next is mail. He's got a whole section on mail, 10 videos from setting up your mail, syncing it with uh, Gmail, Yahoo, iCloud, uh, Hotmail, if you happen to use MSN. They're all right there. How to organize your mail, uh, replying, forwarding. Everything is right there. Uh, if, you like, if you're really into reading, reading on the iPad is fantastic. You have iBooks and you have Kindle books. You can download the Kindle app if you have an Amazon account and read your, uh, read your Kindle books right there on your iPad. Fantastic. Next is the App Store. Of course, a lot of people, that's just why they buy their iPad. The App Store, there's games. There's tons, over 800,000 apps in the App Store. So you can go through from productivity to home decor if you like. Um, he's got videos. You know, this is right here. I kind of like an introduction to the App Store, how to navigate it, what's inside, how to find what you're looking for. All right, back to the home page. I want to wind this up. I want to keep this video very short. We have listen to music and podcasts. This is how to get music from iTunes, transfer it from a CD. Um, there's a new podcast app. It's not very old. came out by Apple. It's pretty cool. It's where you can listen to and organize all your podcasts. Uh, transferring photos from your computer. Connecting your uh, with a camera to your iPad, how to use your photo album, how to change your wallpaper. Um, you can even use your iPad as a digital photo frame, which is pretty cool. Watching videos, you can buy and rent videos um, from iTunes. You can use Amazon videos. You can use iTunes U. 
which is kind of like a university where there's classrooms and things and you can learn. That's a pretty cool feature. And then the last feature, or the last uh, section here is maps. How to use maps, find where you're going, get directions, you know, uh, look things up. So all these videos, there's over 100 videos back here, and all of them are yours. As soon as you get access to this, you come in here, you log in, and this is what you get. Over 100 videos, it's updated all the time. Anytime a new feature comes out, he uploads a new video. If there's a feature that's not here, you have a question, send him a message and he will create a video for you. So just click the link in the description below to get access to iPad Video Lessons membership site.